Have you ever wondered about the underworld of Vietnam, a side often hidden from the public eye? Today, we pull back the curtain on this obscured aspect of the nation, a world far removed from the vibrant markets, the lush landscapes and the rich cultural heritage that usually springs to mind when one thinks of Vietnam. Our focus is on the shadowy recesses of Vietnamese society, where gangs and prostitution prevail. This is a tale of two worlds, coexisting yet vastly different. On one side we have a Vietnam steeped in tradition, with its ancient temples, its colorful festivals, its people deeply rooted in their customs and beliefs. This is a country that prides itself on its history, a history that has been shaped by resilience and unity in the face of adversity. But then, there's the other Vietnam, the one that lurks in the shadows, away from the tourist trails and the bustling city centers. This is the underbelly of Vietnam, a world where gangs rule the streets and prostitution is a grim reality for many. It's a world that is often overlooked, but one that is just as much a part of Vietnam's story as its stunning landscapes and rich cultural heritage. In the sprawling cities and tucked away in the alleyways, the gang culture thrives. This underworld is not just a contemporary issue, but a part of Vietnam's history that has evolved over time. From small-time street gangs in the past to the organized crime syndicates of today, this underworld has its roots deep in the fabric of Vietnamese society. Similarly, prostitution, often termed as the oldest profession in the world, has its own narrative in Vietnam. It's a narrative that speaks volumes about the socio-economic conditions that drive many to such an extreme means of survival. In this journey, we delve into the evolution of this underworld, tracing the history of gangs and prostitution in Vietnam. This is not a tale of judgment, but one of understanding. As we journey through the dark side of Vietnam, we aim to shed light on these issues, understanding the circumstances that have led to their existence and the impact they continue to have on the nation. Our journey begins in the post-colonial era, where the seeds of gang culture in Vietnam were sown. During this tumultuous time, the country was grappling with newfound independence, and the struggle to establish a stable society gave birth to the early formations of gangs. These emergent groups weren't necessarily the criminal enterprises we think of today. In the initial stages they were more akin to community support systems, born out of necessity in a time of social and economic instability. They served as a means for people to band together for mutual protection and survival. But as the socio-political climate shifted, so too did the nature of these groups. The arrival of foreign powers, each with their own agendas, dramatically altered the landscape of Vietnam. The French, the Japanese, the Chinese and later the Americans, each left their indelible mark on the country and its people. This constant state of flux created a fertile ground for the evolution of these groups. They began to take on a more organized structure, mirroring the hierarchical systems of their foreign counterparts. In the shadows of war and political upheaval, these gangs began to flourish, taking advantage of the chaos to expand their influence. Their activities diversified, branching out into various forms of illicit trade. Prostitution became one of the most lucrative avenues for these groups, capitalizing on the demand from foreign soldiers stationed in the country during the war years. Yet it's important to note that the emergence of these gangs wasn't merely a product of criminal intent. Rather, they were a symptom of the broader societal issues that plagued Vietnam during this period. Poverty, corruption and the lack of law enforcement all contributed to the growth and entrenchment of gang culture. As Vietnam underwent significant changes, so did the nature of its gangs. What started as a means of survival in a post-colonial society evolved into a complex web of organized crime, deeply embedded in the fabric of Vietnamese society. The journey from community support systems to the criminal underworld is a tale of adaptation and survival, a reflection of the country's turbulent past. From their humble beginnings, Vietnam's gangs have evolved into complex organizations. In the early days, these groups were born out of necessity, often formed by impoverished individuals as a means of survival. They primarily focused on petty theft and minor rackets, operating in shadows and back alleys. Yet as time passed, these gangs began to grow, both in numbers and in ambition. From the mid-20th century, the gang culture in Vietnam began to shift. The country's socio-political landscape was in flux, and the gangs seized the opportunity. They started involving themselves in larger operations, such as drug trafficking and organized crime, expanding their influence and establishing a formidable presence in the underworld. 
The evolution of these gangs was not just limited to their activities. They also underwent significant structural changes. Hierarchies were established, with clear leaders and ranks, and codes of conduct were formulated. These gangs became more than just groups of lawbreakers. They transformed into sophisticated organizations, deeply entwined with the fabric of Vietnamese society. In the late 20th and early 21st centuries, the gangs of Vietnam continued to evolve. They became increasingly involved in cybercrime, leveraging the rapid advancement of technology. Moreover, their influence began to permeate even the upper echelons of society, with allegations of corruption and collusion with influential figures surfacing frequently. However, this evolution of gang culture has had a profound impact on Vietnamese society. On one hand, it has led to an increase in crime rates and a sense of insecurity among the populace. On the other hand, it has also led to a rise in social inequality, as the wealth generated through illicit activities is concentrated in the hands of a few. The evolution of Vietnam's gangs is a testament to the adaptability and resilience of these organizations. Yet, it's also a stark reminder of the socio-economic issues that have allowed such entities to flourish. While gangs evolved, another dark facet of Vietnam's underworld thrived in the shadows, prostitution. In the shadows of Vietnam's bustling streets, the world's oldest profession found a home. As we delve into the early days of this clandestine trade, we find a society grappling with a complex issue, often caught between tradition and necessity. Prostitution in Vietnam has a long and intricate history, rooted deeply in the country's past. From the time of the French colonial era, it became an unfortunate side effect of social and economic disparities. Women, often from impoverished backgrounds, found themselves driven into this dark world, not out of choice, but out of desperation. Yet, it wasn't just local dynamics that fueled this trade. The international community, particularly during times of war, played a significant role in shaping the face of prostitution in Vietnam. The arrival of foreign soldiers during the Vietnam War saw a boom in the industry. It was a time of upheaval and chaos, and amidst this turmoil, the flesh trade found fertile ground to flourish. The social implications were far-reaching. Prostitution, though frowned upon, became an integral part of the underground economy. It was a paradoxical existence. While society shunned these women, it also relied on the income they generated. This dichotomy laid the groundwork for a complex relationship between society and prostitution, a relationship that continues to this day. As we look at the international implications, we see a similar complexity. While the international community often condemned the trade, its presence in Vietnam was largely a result of foreign influences. This created a cycle of blame and denial, with both local and international communities reluctant to take responsibility. However, it is important to remember that behind the statistics and the societal judgments, there are real people with real stories. Women who found themselves in this trade were often victims of circumstances beyond their control. Their stories are a testament to their resilience and their struggle to survive in a world that offered them little choice. Over time, prostitution in Vietnam transformed, reflecting the changing economic and societal trends. As we move forward, we'll see how this transformation took place, shaping the modern face of prostitution in Vietnam. In the modern era, prostitution in Vietnam has taken on a new face, reflecting the country's rapid development. As we delve deeper into the world of shadows, the landscape of prostitution in Vietnam today reveals a stark contrast to its past. It's no longer confined to dimly lit alleys, but has permeated into the veneer of society, manifesting in karaoke bars, massage parlors, and even online platforms, a testament to the country's technological strides. The modern face of prostitution is a double-edged sword. On one hand, the digital age has allowed for a certain degree of anonymity, offering a veil of protection for those involved. On the other, it has made it easier for exploitation to go unnoticed, with the vulnerable often falling prey to unscrupulous individuals. The impact on those involved is profound. Many are drawn into the trade due to economic hardship, often coming from rural areas with dreams of a better life, only to find themselves ensnared in a world they did not choose. For some, it's a means to an end, a way to support their families. For others, it's a life they were coerced into, their dreams shattered by the harsh realities of their circumstances. And then, there's the relationship with the criminal underworld. Prostitution in Vietnam is deeply entwined with gang culture, a symbiotic relationship that feeds off each other's existence. 
gangs offer protection, while prostitution provides a lucrative income stream. However, this relationship is often marred by violence and abuse, a grim reflection of the power dynamics at play. As we peel back the layers, we find a world that is complex, heartbreaking, yet undeniably a part of Vietnam's social fabric. It's a world that thrives in the shadows, where dreams and despair coexist, a world that is often overlooked, yet impossible to ignore. The evolution of gangs and prostitution in Vietnam paints a complex picture of its underworld. Today, Vietnam's underworld is a complex network of illicit activities, deeply ingrained in the fabric of society. In the shadows of bustling cities and serene landscapes, there lies a labyrinth of secret transactions and coded allegiances that weave an intricate tapestry of clandestine operations. Gangs and prostitution, two prominent threads in this tapestry, have a profound impact on Vietnamese society. Gangs, once mere street thugs, have evolved into sophisticated criminal enterprises. They have their fingers dipped in all sorts of pies, from drugs to human trafficking. They maintain a firm grip on power through violence, intimidation and corruption. These gangs have become so embedded in society that their influence seeps into the mundane aspects of everyday life, from the food vendors on the corner to the politicians in City Hall. Parallel to this, the world's oldest profession, prostitution, remains a significant part of the Vietnamese underworld. Despite governmental crackdowns, the industry has adapted, adopting a chameleon-like nature. It's no longer confined to seedy brothels or dimly lit street corners. Instead, it has found refuge in karaoke bars, massage parlors, and even online platforms. The societal impact of these two elements is profound. On one hand, they contribute to the economic disparity, social unrest, and exploitation of vulnerable populations. On the other hand, they also inadvertently provide livelihoods to those marginalized by society, those who have been left with no other alternatives. The underworld, for all its darkness, is also a place of survival. What's clear is that the underworld isn't an alien entity, it's a reflection of the society that birthed it. It's a mirror that reveals the harsh realities of economic struggle, class disparity, and the human instinct to survive. And so, the dance continues. The authorities crack down, the underworld adapts and the cycle repeats. Despite the government's best efforts, these illicit activities persist, a testament to their deep roots within the societal framework. The underworld with its dark allure continues to be a part of Vietnam's societal fabric. Our journey into Vietnam's underworld has revealed a complex and evolving landscape. We've traveled through time and peered into the dark corners of society, unearthing stories that shed light on the intricate web of Vietnam's underworld. We began with the origins, tracing the roots of gang culture and prostitution back to the tumultuous periods of war and unrest. A time when desperation and survival intermingled, germinating the seeds of these underground activities. The adversity of these times gave rise to resilience, but it also bore the birth of a darker side of society. We then journeyed through the evolution of gang culture, witnessing how it adapted and morphed over time. From the early days of loose networks operating in the shadows to the sophisticated syndicates we see today, the underworld has continually evolved, mirroring the changing face of society. Our exploration also took us into the modern face of prostitution. We discovered that what was once a taboo and hidden facet of society has now taken on a different guise. Today, it is an industry that, while still shrouded in secrecy, it's more visible and, in some ways, more accepted than ever before. And finally, we delved into the underworld of today, uncovering a microcosm that reflects the broader societal tensions and economic disparities. It's a world that thrives in the shadows, yet is inextricably linked to the everyday life of the country. As we reflect on this journey, it's clear that the underworld is not an isolated entity, but rather an integral part of Vietnam's societal fabric. It is a testament to the resilience and adaptability of the human spirit, even in the face of adversity. Yet, it also serves as a stark reminder of the societal complexities and economic disparities that continue to shape this fascinating country. As we uncover the layers of Vietnam's underworld, we gain a deeper understanding of the societal complexities that shape this fascinating country.